Um, just a quick update in my greenhouse. I am getting ready to um, take some of this mass down. It, it's been hot again. It got hot up here, guys. It went back up into the upper 90s and hundreds again. So uh, this is really um, controlling a lot of the heat in this greenhouse. But it's it's really this white mold is really starting to get out of control. Um, I'll show you quickly what it looks like. It's either white or gray mold. That's generally what we get here. Um, oh my God, these these cucumber vines are. Just, the unusual thing is the cu the cucumber vines. Uh, normally, this time of year, my cucumbers are all covered in powdery mildew and downy mildew. We got all we got them all up here. Uh, but just wanted to show you quickly how fast and rapidly the white or gray mold spreads and once it starts to spread it's so rapid it, this whole thing will just completely get covered in, in like almost one shot and that's because my greenhouse is very humid i don't really have enough air circulation but uh a lot of this is going to have to come down I, I have to get it out and it really it generally really starts off it only affects the tomato plants and then um Eventually, when it gets really bad, when everything starts dying off, like if you just walk out of the greenhouse uh, and just like let it go, because I've done that a year or two, you know, I was just like, I, I can't even manage this anymore and just like forgot about it and focused on my other gardens and stuff around the yard and uh, everything just collapsed and like rots with this white mold and uh, eventually it gets on everything. So I need to actually start taking this stuff down unfortunately i i have to and it, and it really only affects the tomato plants in the beginning so this is what it looks like okay if you've never seen white or gray mold uh this is a good opportunity for you to um watch this video and learn from it because this is not blight okay this is not blight guys see how it's forming on the top of the leaf and on the bottom of the leaf it, it's you would think oh that's downy mildew no it's not downy mildew downy mildew generally don't affect tomato plants it it i've never seen it on my tomato plants downy mildew affects the cucubits okay you could see my cucubits are perfectly fine there's no, <clears throat> nothing on them. There's no blight. There's nothing. Normally, this time of the year, I start to have problems uh, with any of the cucumbers. Very seldomly, I can grow uh, cucumbers and squash and everything with without damage this time of the year. Major damage, we're talking about. We're not talking about a little bit. We're talking, it's like rapid spread. This year, so far, nothing. I'm actually surprised. It's the tomatoes this year that got re hit really bad. And it's not just in the greenhouse. It's actually outside as well, but not as bad. Uh, this year up here where I live in northeastern Pennsylvania, the, the rain has been unusually high this year. We never see this much rain this time of the year. I mean, last month we got almost seven inches of rain. This month we're about three inches into rain. Um, in years past... I've we've only I've seen in years past from roughly mid July to first week in September somewhere around the range of maybe a half inch to an inch of rain max that whole period of time it's literally bone dry ground cracking everything on your lawn dying trees dying I'm used to seeing that up here this year is not like that this is one wet year it's actually a really good year though I'm not complaining it's just when it gets wet up here in the Appalachian Mountains, this is what you're going to end up running into. This is what ends up happening up here in the Appalachian Mountains. I mean, it's, it's molds and mildews up here are so prevalent. Everything grows up here in this, this region. So just wanted to give you one last look at this i don't know if i'm going to do this today or tomorrow i'm not sure exactly when i, I do got to get in here and do this this has got to get trimmed down this is absolutely out of control at this point um 
I can't uh, manage it no more. It's just, it's not fun anymore is, is what I'm trying to tell you. It's just not having fun anymore, you know? So, I mean, I can't even get through here anymore. And every time I go through, I'm rubbing against this and it's spreading it even more. So, but the odd thing is, is this side of the greenhouse, the ones with the plants that were dying from the super hot heat, they're not really getting it. They got a little bit maybe here and there and then that was it because I stopped watering this side of my greenhouse. These plants are so full of water as I touch the stem my hands are soaked. All right, that's why the mold grows on this on these plants out here. If you really let your plants grow and soak up the moisture like a sponge and believe me tomato plants will soak moisture like a sponge um, this stuff out here is what gets on them. If you let your tomato plants just kind of dry and don't water them and you leave them alone, it just, the growth is very slow and it's, it's not as intense, so to speak. Um, you, like I say, you can see here, it's not really on here much. The plants are kind of yellow and it's not really, yes, yeah, some of them are getting it a little bit, but it, it, you can see it's like it doesn't really want to, prosper it's these plants in here the ones that are full of water it's like it's i don't know how to explain it they're so wet my hands are, are literally almost dripping when i touch the 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 stem that's how moist these tomato plants here they're just soaking up a ton of water out of the ground and, and my bags actually that these are planted in the you know bags i didn't use pots or anything i just use bags but they're soaking up so much water that they're 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 growing like crazy. Now a lot of these got to come down, all right, because they are either the yellow pear tomato, which I really don't want to rip them down. I mean they're pretty cool when they get like ten feet tall. It's like having a pet almost. It's really fun to watch because these plants can reach ten, twenty, thirty feet long if you the conditions are right. I mean they just grow in, incredibly huge but they got to come down unfortunately at some point because they're just they're going to kill all my really important tomatoes which i do have a couple of uh good tomatoes that are growing in here that are cool and um they're not like a weed so if i can just get by i'll open up my greenhouse which i gotta do i mean it's so wet in here guys not only that i mean look at look at my ceiling in here this is what it's like every single morning in my greenhouse you see all that water there's a couple of gallons of water probably in here it's like it rains in here at night in a more by the time you come in here in the morning you're, you're getting soaked from the water dripping off the top of my roof in here that's how much water these plants are transpiring it's incredible. I mean, look at the damage it's causing, though, guys. Just look at this. You can see it's yellow spots everywhere. So, I just wanted to give you one last look at the absolute carnage in this greenhouse. Let me let me open this up. I'll open up. Yeah, it's just absolute carnage, guys. I mean, look at this. Look at these things. Um, I mean, these things are... Every year that I grow these plants, these tomatoes... These, not that I grow them, but these tomatoes grow every year. They get, they get bigger and bigger and more aggressive and more aggressive every year. It's almost, it's almost concerning as far as it, it, it getting out of control. So keep that in mind if you ever decide to grow the Everglade tomato or the yellow pear tomato. Yeah. All right. So just figured I'd show you that in this video because this is eventually going to come down. And I don't want you to think I'm cheating you out of my, my greenhouse. But uh, I got to do something, guys, because it's, it's just spreading everywhere. It's just on everything. And I'll show you again. It just, and it really attacks the tomatoes. I, I can't grow in this greenhouse, tomatoes in this greenhouse for several years, and I got to clean it with hydrogen peroxide and bleach. And I forgot what else. There's something else you got to put down. 
you got to spray it on everything, the whole walls, the ground, everything's got to get soaked with a chemical. And that'll kill it off, and then you can start your tomatoes again the following year. But I can't grow anything tomato-wise in here for a few years. I can grow peppers in here, maybe cucumbers, but tomatoes, no way. Tomatoes got to go outside next year. Tomatoes are bringing so many diseases, guys, it's ridiculous. It's amazing how many diseases are attracted to tomatoes. So, um, yeah, just a quick look at the, I guess you could call it greenhouse update. I'll call it something with the mold because that's really what I wanted to show you is how white and gray mold can, can just literally get out of control, especially in a very humid environment like my greenhouse. It's just absolutely humid in here, guys. See, I'll show you. Maybe you might be able to see it on there. You see how it forms on that? I also wanted to show you, it, 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 it gets on here. See these die, these dead, um, those dead flowers on these cucumbers? It gets on that, and then it, it just, that's where it started with me. It started with that, and it spread, and I didn't do anything about it because I didn't know anything about it. I've never heard about white or gray mold, and now I have the problem. So... I'm trying to show you what it's like to have this stuff and how prolific it is. I mean, it's literally covering everything, guys. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, it's on everything. It's just... And you see how fast and how rapid this stuff spread? It's incredible. It's... Now I see why a lot of farmers up here where I live don't grow tomatoes. A lot of people around here don't grow tomatoes. You don't want to grow certain things in, in, in the Appalachian Mountains, and I believe tomatoes is probably one of them. All right, see you on the next one.